guys, my name is Victoria Paul of I'm the Photoshop Artist and today I will show to you how you can create commercial advertisement for your client directly from your office. Let's say your customer called to you and asked to create commercial for his or her coffee shop. And also your customer doesn't need to have an image of his or her specific coffee shop. So you can have image of any coffee shop. What do you need to do? Do you need to travel on location to take picture of any coffee shop? Do you need to hire model for a project? Yeah, you can do this as well, but you can do uh, anything in a smarter way directly from your office. So guys, I have opened my Dimension CC and also I have opened my Adobe Stock license library where I have images I downloaded and licensed from Adobe Stock. Um, if, uh, for uh, our project, we need image of some coffee shops. So we need to go to Adobe Stock where we can find a thousand, a thousand different images of a different coffee shop. We don't need to license um, many of them. We can preview, we can download uh, some files as a preview files. And after uh, we will be sure that we want to use one particular image for uh, our project. We can license that image. So I license an uh, image I would love to use today. To add your image from Creative Cloud Library to your uh, Dimension document, simply click on your image and voila. Dimensional CC will ask you a few questions. Would you like to resize canvas to image aspect ratio? Yes, please. Create environment light? Yes. Match sunlight? Yes. Match camera perspective? Yes, please. After you will answer all questions, simply click OK. Now, guys, uh, I would love to create, um, add some 3D object to my project. But before that, I would like to adjust my horizontal line. So I will adjust my camera view. I have selected my horizon, uh, horizon tool and I will bring my horizon line down just like that. And also I will adjust camera view just like that. I will click on um, models uh, library in Dimension CC. All those um, models are default models. We don't need to purchase anything. They are all default uh, Dimension CC models. But if you uh, like to um, uh, download more models, you can uh, download any models, materials or light directly from Adobe Stock as well. Here in our um, models library, we have a very nice coffee cup. I will click on this coffee cup and voila. I will adjust my camera angle just like that. And also I will resize my cup. I need to make my cup smaller. I will switch to select and scale tool and here we have a white triangle. I will click on it and I will resize my cup. You can make it bigger or smaller. So it de uh, depends of your project, depends of your um, customer, <laughs> depends of your preferences. So just something like that. Um, also now I will switch to select and move tool and I will move my cup slightly to the left, just like that. In my properties, uh, in my scene uh, panel, I have selected my coffee cup uh, 3D object. I will expand it and I will click on cup. Now I will switch to material library, also default uh, library. I will click on any material I would love to use, just like that, and voila. I can adjust my material directly from properties panel. First of all, I would like to change color. I will click on base color icon and I will change color to the darker gray, just like that. Also, I will move roundness slider slightly to the left and a metallic slider slightly um, to the right, not slightly, all, all uh, way to the right. So now I have very nice uh, shiny effect of my cup. 
Now time to change a material for our lid. I will click on lid icon and I can use any material I like. So uh, now um, I will use plastic material just like that. And definitely I will change color as well. I will use some bright color, maybe something red, just like that. I like it. I will move metallic slider all the way um, to the right and same with um, roundness. So now I have very nice um, shiny effect I applied to my material. So guys, this is very beautiful and very easy. Now I would like to add another uh, a coffee mug uh, or coffee cup to my uh, document. I will switch my library. Here I have my um, another library where I have all 3D objects I downloaded and licensed from Adobe Stock. By the way, guys, you, on Adobe Stock you can find a very, very nice collection of free 3D objects you can use for your project. Here I have a white coffee a cup object. I will click on it and voila. Using select and move tool, I will move my cups slightly to the right. I will switch to select and scale tool and I will bring size of my cup down. Just like that, it's too big. Just something like that. Maybe more, just like that. I will switch to select and rotate tool and I will rotate my uh, uh, coffee cup. Now I'm switching back to select and move tool and I will move my coffee cup just slightly to the distance. Guys, as, I don't know if you notice or not, but you can preview in a white coffee cup object how dimensional um, uh, applied all reflections, all light um, based on our image to our um, cup. It's so beautiful. You don't need to have, you don't need to spend a lot of um, time to match light and reflection and everything like that. Everything done by dimensions. You see, this is amazing. But let's change a color. I don't need to uh, change material. I would love to change just the color. So uh, here, uh, my coffee cup is selected. I will expand it. I will click on my material and I will change base color. Maybe I will use a red color as well. Yeah, I like it. So I will use a darker shade of my red color, just like that. Now guys, I will switch to select and move tool and um, I will move my cup just slightly, just like that. Let's see. Maybe, yes, something like that. Yes, I love it. Just like that. Yeah. Uh, guys, uh, now uh, we can add um, our customer logo. So how we can do this? Very easy, guys. I will switch to my another library where I have um, my customer logo. Just like that. I will highlight my coffee cup. And uh, guys, pay attention, please. I'm not highlighting lead tab. I'm highlighting cup tab. I will click on my customer's logo in my Creative Cloud library and I will drag this logo on top of my um, coffee cup. I will rotate it just like that. If I will need, I will resize it just like that. Also in properties panel, I can change opacity I can change a metallic view and roundness. So something like that. So guys, believe it or not, we are done. And by the way, you can preview your ren rendering in a quick rendering a window. Simply click on it. Render preview window, expand it. And voila, give dimension few seconds to analyze your uh, image and voila guys this is absolutely amazing so i didn't travel anywhere i didn't hire any model for my project what i did i just opened my dimension cc i went to adobe stock website i licensed one image for my project and voila and also i downloaded this red cup 
for free from Adobe Stock website. So after you're satisfied with everything, guys, uh, by the way, you can um, adjust a light if you want. You can click on environment and you can adjust your light. You can uh, adjust intensity, rotation, so you can adjust anything you want to. After you're satisfied with everything and you are happy with your project, with your light, with your composition, with your um, customer's logo, yeah, just click a render. And here you need to specify quality of your render. I'm always specifying high. It will uh, will be more uh, uh, less. Um, it will be slow, not so quick, but. Um, also, also uh, export format PSD because I definitely um, want to have all layers available for um, any modification later on if I will need in Adobe Photoshop CC. Uh, you can specify location of your rendering and after you specified everything, double check it and click render and voila. Now Dimension CC will start um, a rendering after Dimension CC will finish your rendering I will be back and we will, we will open our project in Adobe Photoshop CC so now Dimension CC finished my rendering and I can open my project in Adobe Photoshop CC so I will click on open in Photoshop and voila my project is opened in Adobe Photoshop CC now I will zoom in it just like that guys just look how beautifully dimension done uh, everything for me uh, I didn't spend a lot of time I didn't spend a lot of money in my pre project my commercial looks amazing so what do you, what do I need to do I can uh, apply um, adjustment to my uh, document I can add any text so what I will do uh, I will add a new layer example I will bring it on top of all layers and I can um, I don't know I can add text example if my customer want to have some text I will add uh, victorious coffee something like that I can move it I can adjust it so guys this is all just um, some details you need to work out with your customer you need to have some specific text and everything like that so you have an idea i will uh, delete this layer and i will uh, click on adjustments and here i have my adjustment so what i would like to do i would like to click on um, exposure and because I'm applying uh, exposure as a separate layer, I can adjust my exposure layer at any time later on. What I would like to do, I would like to change exposure. Let me move my exposure on top of all layers, just like that. I will uh, bring exposure down slightly. And maybe I will add, I will move gamma correction just slightly, slightly, just like that. Also, I will click on adjustments. I will click on color lookup. And here I have um, my favorite fall uh, colors look adjustment. And again, guys, because I applied adjustment a separate layer, I can modify my adjustment layer. I can bring example opacity down for this layer, just like that. And voila. Now I have a kind of warm effect applied uh, to my image. And I love it a lot. So we are done. What we need to do, we can save. Um, definitely, we need to save our image as a PSD file. We can uh, create two different versions of a uh, same uh, project to send to our client for um, approval. And after your client will um, give you a green light, you can um, finish your project. So guys, I hope you enjoyed um, this tutorial i hope you will start using dimension cc uh, right uh, like right now today and if you will like it if you will create anything 
please share it with me share on uh, Twitter uh, tag me with your project I just want to see what you have created uh, after you saw my tutorial and guys definitely if you like my tutorial please subscribe to my channel and share my tutorial I will appreciate it a lot thank you guys and I will see you later bye